Numbers 33. As Israel traveled from Egypt under the command of Moses and Aaron, Moses kept a list of the places they camped, just as the Lord had instructed. Here is the record of their journey. Israel left the Egyptian city of Ramesses on the fifteenth day of the first month. This was the day after the Lord had punished Egypt's gods by killing the firstborn sons in every Egyptian family. So while the Egyptians were burying the bodies, they watched the Israelites proudly leave their country. After the Israelites left Ramesses, they camped at Succoth, and from there they moved their camp to Etham on the edge of the desert. Then they turned back toward Pihahiroth, east of Baal Zephon, and camped near Migdal. They left Pihahiroth, crossed the Red Sea, then walked three days into the Etham desert and camped at Marah. Next, they camped at Elam, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees. They left Elam and camped near the Red Sea, then turned east and camped along the western edge of the Sinai Desert. From there, they went to Dafka, Elush, and Rephidim, where they had no water. They left Rephidim and finally reached the Sinai Desert. As Israel traveled from the Sinai Desert to Kadesh in the Zin Desert, they camped at Kibrath Hateava, Hazareth, Rithma, Rimon Pires, Libna, Rissa, Kihalatha, Mount Shefer, Hareda, Mekiloth, Tehath, Tira, Mithka, Hashmona, Moziroth, Beni Jaikin, Horhagidgad, Jutbatha, Abrona, Ezion Gaber, and finally Kadesh. When they left Kadesh, they came to Mount Hor on the border of Edom. That's where the Lord commanded Aaron the priest to go to the top of the mountain. Aaron died there on the first day of the fifth month, forty years after the Israelites left Egypt. He was 123 years old at the time. It was then that the Canaanite king of Arad, who lived in the southern desert of Canaan, heard that Israel was headed that way. The Israelites left Mount Hor and headed toward Moab. Along the way, they camped at Zalmona, Punan, Oboth, Aya Abaram in the territory of Moab, Dibon Gad, Alman Diblathaim, at a place near Mount Nebo in the Abaram Mountains, and finally in the lowlands of Moab across the Jordan River from Jericho. Their camp stretched from Beth Jeshemoth to Acacia. While Israel was camped in the lowlands of Moab across the Jordan River from Jericho, the Lord told Moses to give the people of Israel this message. When you cross the Jordan River and enter Canaan, you must force out the people living there, destroy their idols, and tear down their altars. Then settle in the land. I have given it to you as your own. I will show you how to divide the land among the tribes according to the number of clans in each one, so that the larger tribes will have more land than the smaller ones. If you don't force out all the people there, they will be like pointed sticks in your eyes and thorns in your back. They will always be trouble for you, and I will treat you as cruelly as I planned on treating them.